Miss Earth 2022 is almost drawing to a close and in this video I will be revealing my top 20 prediction for Miss Earth 2022. Starting with Russia's Ekaterina Valmakina who is 19 years old at number 20. At number 19 I have Ecuador's Susan Toledo who is 22 years old. At number 18 I have my current home country Namibia. Diana Andimba who is 23 years old. I know that a lot of fans especially have included her in their top 20 predictions as well so I am very optimistic that Namibia might get its very first placement at Miss Earth and its very first placement at a major international pageant under the Miss Namibia organization since 2010 at Miss World. So Diana is definitely giving me some hope for Namibia at Miss Earth this year. At number 17, I have Brazil's Jessica Predroso, who is 23 years old. At number 16, I have Zimbabwe's Sakile Dube, who is 25. At number 15, I have Chile's Daniela Requelme, who is 22. And at number 14, I have Belgium's Daphne Neval, who is also 22. At number 13, I have Indonesia's Karina Basrewan, who is 26. And at number 12, I have a very famous contestant at Miss Earth this year. Belarus Lilia Levaya, who is 25. Lilia has actually st stood out at Miss Earth a lot these past couple of days because, as we all know, Miss Earth has been sort of coming under fire for lacking in production value this year. I mean, it is their first year back from a two year virtual hiatus where they didn't have any in-person pageants so the production is a little bit iffy this year but Lilia has definitely taken offense to people sort of calling out Miss Earth for not really catering to the online fan base when it comes to production quality and she has made it clear that her value when it comes to Miss Earth, um, Miss Earth's value in her eyes lies more in what they stand for than, you know, production value and all of that. But I definitely think that Lilia doesn't necessarily see things from the fans' point of view. But anyway, she has garnered a lot of praise for this and... I don't know, even before this happened, she was in my top 20, so I definitely think that she should remain in my top 20. It's just an interesting thing that happened with her. She's been very outspoken about people criticizing the Miss Earth organization uh, because of their production value, and she says that people are basically focusing on the wrong things, which... Miss Earth does stand for a lot of incredible things. But anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. At number 12, I do have Belarus. At number 11, I have Puerto Rico's Polina Avile. And she is 23 years old. At number 10, I have Palestine's Nadine Ayub, who is 27. And while I was making this list, I did realize that Palestine has unfortunately fallen a bit for me. There have been so many things happening at Miss Earth. They have so many different sorts of events and competitions happening. And for me, Nadine hasn't really been standing out that much. At number nine, another person who has fallen considerably is the USA's Brielle Simmons, who is 21 years old. Moving into the top eight... Miss Earth, of course, has their famous top eight. At number eight, I have the Philippines. Jenny Ramp, who is 19 years old. I don't think that the Philippines would be left out of the top eight. Not only is the pageant, you know, based in the Philippines and hosted by the Philippines. I think that Jenny is a good contestant as well. So definitely expecting to see her in the top eight. At number 7, I have Venezuela's Oriana Pablos, who is 26 years old. And at number 6, surprisingly, I have Nigeria's Esther Ayahi, who is 27. 
Now, I know a lot of people really, really love Nigeria, and she's been doing super well in all of the sorts of preliminary pre-pageant competitions and things. She's garnered um, quite a considerable amount of medals, I think three to be exact so far. So she's been doing pretty well. At number five, I have Cuba's Sheila Ravello, who is 22. Sheila, of course, is also a big fan favorite. And to be honest, she might very well also end up in the top four. The top four, of course, being the Elemental Queens and then Miss Earth. So we have Miss Fire, Miss Water, Miss Air, which we'll get to later. I think definitely Cuba could very well end up as being an Elemental Queen. But at the moment, for me, she is number five. At number four, I have Korea, Mina Su Choi, who is 24. Korea has definitely been so amazing. She's just the most incredible speaker. She She's just so incredible, to be honest with you. So I'm definitely expecting to see her in the top four. I mean, she has shot up the ranks since the competition has started. She has definitely been thriving. So definitely expecting her in the top four. At number three, I have the Netherlands, Meryl Hendrickson, no relation, who is 24. She has also been very surprising. She is just also a fan favorite, to be honest with you. I definitely think it's between her and Cuba for who is actually going to make top fours. But um, for me, she is at number three. I definitely think that she has what it takes. At number two, I have Australia, Sheridan Mortlock, who is 22. She used to be my winner, and I think in a recent prediction, she, she actually fell a little bit, but she has risen again, and she, for me, is at number two at the moment, but she might also win, who knows. I definitely know that Sheridan has been a big fan favorite since, even since pre pre-arrival, so she might as well end up winning. I have no clue, but for me, she's at number two just because she is really actually an amazing woman as well. At number one, I still have the incredible Andrea Aguilera from Colombia, who is 26 years old. Andrea has just been so incredible i mean obviously we know that she is incredible because she managed to reach the top 12 at miss world 2021 you know going up against carolina biolaska and she she's just incredible so she for me is definitely the one to beat alongside australia's sheridan mortlock i wouldn't be surprised if these two women alongside two others in the top four were, you know, the last ones standing, so to speak. Andrea has also garnered a lot of medals at the pre-pageant competitions, so she has definitely been showing her exceptional pageant skills, and I am just so incredibly excited to see who ends up winning, even though the pageant itself, all of the, all of the, things that have been uploaded it has all been a little bit confusing to say the least it has all been a little bit difficult to follow in terms of being an online fan only i'm sure that all of these events have been incredible in person but truthfully i do think that miss earth has a little bit of ways to go in terms of production when it comes to taking into account the online fan base because I do not think at the moment that this year's pre-pageant competitions in general have been, you know, checked to see if they are the best for virtual people, virtual audiences. <laughs> So guys, those are my predictions for Miss Earth 2022. Let me know what you guys think. Who are your top 4, top 8, top 20? I would love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will definitely be watching the pageant tomorrow. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. And I will see you guys in the